What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 guide and today I will guide you through the quickest ways of completing all the rare solstice of a hero's armor objectives. As we know, some are straightforward like 5 crucible wins and 10 adventures and so forth. Ones I can't really help you with, but other objectives like melee kills, super kills, grenade kills and so forth, I can help you with. But before we go any further guys, if you would like to show your support, hit the like button on the video truly helps me out. Also to be with a chance of winning my monthly controller giveaway, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Show your support by liking the video and leaving a comment down below. And check out the Gleam link linked within the top of the video description. More details at the end of the video, guys. Okay, so let's get into the video. And we're going to start with the Hunter, as the Hunter is my main and it's the one I am working on at the moment. Warlock and Titans will follow suit. Before I go any further, though, it's important to note you don't have to be wearing all armor pieces, only the armor pieces for the challenges you are working towards. So if you're working towards challenges for the helmet, you can wear any other armor pieces you want to keep your power level at a high. Okay, so the helmet for the hunter requires you to complete a nightfall, do the chosen redux mission and get void weapon kills. Here what I did was simply equip my gravity and lance, head to master of the escalation protocol, let the throw build up and simply take them out with a few shots. Once I had done that, I'd simply fast travel back to the same area and do it again. Simply rinse and repeat until you get this done. At the moment though the EP is a very busy place and finding an empty server to do this in is real hard but if you be persistent it will eventually pay off. If you ain't a persistent person and you ain't having decent luck in doing EPs and finding empty servers you can always just farm lost sectors. I mean it's nowhere near as quick but it does work. Other spots in getting this done faster is going to locations where the enemy spawns against each other. Within the trust lands, within the EDZ, within the corner where the cabal spawn. On the IO within the last oasis area with the taken spawning and also the fallen with the hollows on Nessus. These are great spots. Okay so we're going to move on and onto the gauntlets. You need to complete the payback redux mission, complete heroic strikes and get void grenade kills. The void grenade kills I suggest within your night stalker subclass use the bottom tree with lockdown and use the vortex grenade. Now the escalation protocol can be used much like the void energy weapon kills, just fly to Mars, start an EP, gather the hive up and use your grenade to take them out. This in reality would be the fastest way of doing it. But because the escalation protocols all seem to be super busy with people doing their own challenges, the second best place to do this is within the Prestige Nightfall. This week it's the Pyramidian and there is an area not far from the start of the strike which is perfect to do this and it's where I did all of my void grenade kills in about 10 to 15 minutes. Now modifiers you only want to use Grenadier. Using a burn is pretty pointless, I mean I would say use void but most of the enemies within this strike shoot void and they just melt you. Using Grenadier recharges your grenade quicker and it deals more damage and it really works. So load up the Nightfall, make your way through until you get to this room and simply just farm as many enemies as you can with your grenades and then simply kill yourself before you kill the last few enemies. Simply rinse and repeat until you get it done. Really easy people. Now you can spawn into the Nightfall with Grenadier on and find a Lost Sector but in my opinion that takes even longer as the Lost Sectors on IO the enemies are spaced out and getting more than 2 kills with a single grenade is pretty hard. Okay, so moving on to the chest piece, complete the 1 AU Redux mission, 5 Crucible wins and solar weapon kills. Again guys, Escalation Protocol can work great paired with the Sunshot, but like I've been saying the whole video, the place is damn busy at the moment. So if you can't get any luck within EPs and starting them up, gathering up the thrall and taking them out, doing this and simply fast traveling back, other spots in the game are there for you to use. The best place in my opinion is on Nessus within the Hollows area. Locating this spot where the enemies go against each other with the Fallen that continuously spawn from this room is absolutely epic. Just stand here and wait for the event to start and simply just fire a few sunshot bullets and watch those fireworks. This works amazing for them solo weapon kills people, it really does. Other spots you can use are the ones I spoke of earlier with the Graviton Lance and the spots on the EDZ and IO where the enemies spawn against each other also work perfectly. Okay so for the hunter's legs you need to complete the spark redux mission, complete 10 adventures which is long winded and really boring and then get solar melee kills. Now there are a few simple ways of doing this, most notably is with a solar sword, if you have one simply equip it and get kills with it. Best part here is you don't have to have ammo in the sword either, just use the hilt, kill enemies and it counts towards melee kills and it works wonders people. 
If you don't have a solo sword, you can do this with using the bottom tree in the Gunslinger subclass with Knife Juggler is great because if you hit a headshot with a knife, it instantly recharges and headshots count towards your melee kills. Use this paired with the exotic chest piece, the Ophidia Spaths, if you have them. I mean, this exotic isn't exactly needed, but it does help when you miss a precision hit, giving you a backup knife. So just simply find a easy last sector, aim for the head and take enemies out. Headshots like I said instantly recharge your knife so you can keep throwing them, really easy guys. Moving on to the Hunter's class item, you need to complete the Homecoming Redux mission, complete 20 challenges. These can be any planetary challenges which to be honest ain't that hard at all and then get Arc super kills. So for the Arc super kills, using the Raiden Flux isn't a must but it really helps out for sure. And what I do here is simply find a planet where a public event timer is on where it's about to spawn in, simply travel to that location, rally the flag, get my super, find a decent group of enemies or a lost sector, take out as many as I can and simply rinse and repeat. If the public event still hasn't spawned in yet and there's still a timer there, simply fast travel back to the area you started in, rally the flag again and do what you just did. If the public event has despawned or is in action, find another public event on another planet, travel to that, rally that flag, find a lost sector or a group of enemies and rinse and repeat it. It's as simple as that people. Okay so let's move on to the warlock and with the helmet you need to complete the chosen redux mission, get void energy weapon kills and complete the nightfall. Void weapon kills, I would do what I did with my hunter, works exactly the same. Easy peasy people. For the gauntlets, you need to complete the payback redux mission, get arc melee kills and complete three heroic strikes. The arc melee kills for this, you can use the stone crawler. Do this within the escalation protocol and they can't just fine. Do this using the crown of tempest and it will be done in no time at all. Both top and bottom skill trees do have benefits in doing this. Top tree has chain lightning and bottom tree has rising storm. I don't use a warlock for this one, it's up to you guys. If the EP is stupid busy, as I imagine it will be, spots within the trust land on the EDZ, hollows on Nessus and the last oasis area on IO where the enemies fight against each other, these are great. The chest piece, you need to complete the 1 AU Redux mission, get solo grenade kills and win 5 non-private crucible matches. The solo grenade kills, much like I did with my hunter for the void grenade kills, I do the same here, load up the prestige nightfall using only grenadier as the mod, make your way through until you get to this room, seen on screen now, me using my hunter here because I don't have a warlock like I said, using your solo grenade and things should be done really easy, obviously killing yourself before you take out every enemy though, so you can spawn in and take them out all again. Using some braces here will really help you out if you have them. Moving on to the legs and you need to complete the spark redux mission, get arc super kills and complete 10 adventures. Now with that arc super kills you will have some of these done from using the strat I mentioned earlier and getting the melee kills. But much like the hunter's arc super kills, using public events, rallying the flags, finding groups of enemies, rinsing and repeating works absolutely great. The escalation protocol again could be a great spot to try also, hopefully you get an empty server. Now the warlock bond, the class item, you need to complete their homecoming redux mission, get solar power weapon kills and get 500 kills. Now the solar power weapon kills, forget launchers, forget fusions and so forth, using a shotgun or a sword it's a must, both have equal amounts of ammo and both take out enemies with basically a single hit. Using the same strat here with the super kills and using public events to get the heavy ammo is your best bet in getting this done as fast as possible. So what I do is find a planet where a public event is about to spawn or there is a time for it to spawn in, go there, rally the flag, get the heavy ammo, find enemies and destroy and simply rinse and repeat people. Okay, so we're going to move on to the Titan and for the Harmony you need to complete the Chosen Redux mission, get solar super kills and complete the Nightfall. So for the solar super kills guys, I recommend you using the same strat we did for the Hunter and Warlock super kills, public events, rallying flags and killing enemies and simply rinsing and repeating. As far as I know, there's no exotic armor piece in the game which will assist you here. Okay, so moving on to the gauntlets and for these you need to complete the payback relux mission, get solar energy weapon kills and complete three heroic strikes. The solar energy weapon kills is as simple as it was for the Hunter, go to Nessus within the Hollows area using that sunshine shot, wait for the enemies to face off against each other, lay off a few shots, simply wait and watch those fireworks. Other areas of the game also work, like I mentioned earlier on IO within the Lost Oasis area and the Trust Land on EDZ where the enemies face off against each other. Also the EP could be great too. 
The chess piece you need to complete the one AU Redux mission, get arc grenade kills, and win five non private crucible matches. To do the grenade kills, much like with a warlock and hunter, load up the prestige nightfall with the grenadier mod on, travel through until you get to this room, and lay down them grenades. Using the pulse grenade here with the top skill tree works best as magnitude gives you an additional grenade. So that's great. Remember Grenadier recharges your grenades quicker and makes them basically more powerful. So just take out enemies in this room, obviously don't take them all out. Uh, once you've got a few left simply kill yourself and you'll start again at the beginning of this room and you can simply rinse and repeat. The legs you need to complete the Spark Redux mission, get void melee kills and complete 10 adventures. The melee kills here are best done with an empty void sword. Getting kills with the hilt of the sword counts towards this challenge and in reality people it's the fastest way of doing this. The Titan class item, the Mark, you need to complete the Homecoming Redux mission, get Arc power weapon kills and get 500 kills. Well the 500 kills you don't really need a guide for, it's pretty damn straightforward and these will almost be done with you doing all the other challenges. Power weapon kills though, I suggest either a shotgun or a sword. Using the strat of rallying public event flags, getting the heavy ammo, finding groups of enemies or lost sectors and just do your thing, simply rinse and repeat until it's done people and it is as simple as that. And guys these are the challenges which will allow you to upgrade that rare armour into its almost final form of a legendary. I hope the video truly helps you out and if it did leaving a like really helps me out. But before we go guys, every single month I give away a fully customizable controller. New giveaway for this month started yesterday, to be in with a chance of winning it simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and follow the Gleam link linked at the top of the video description, fast, simple and legit people. Remember if you entered the giveaway last month, you won't be in it for this month so you will need to re-enter. But guys on that note I am out, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.